Hi, I'm Jason Walcott and this is Walcott Fine Art. In today's video, we're going to take a look at white oil paints and which ones there are and the differences between them and which ones that you might want to try. So let's take a closer look at white. So welcome back and uh, as I said in the intro, today I'm going to talk about different kinds of white oil paint uh, to help you decide which ones that you might want to try and which ones I use that are my favorites and why I like them. So first of all, let me just start out by saying uh, when you go to the art supply store or you're looking for shopping for paint, you're going to find three basic types of white. You're going to find titanium white, lead white sometimes called flake white, but it's made from lead, and zinc white. Now right off the bat, I would tell you to avoid using zinc white. And the reason that is, is because the Smithsonian did a study and it turns out that pigments or paints that are made purely with zinc white pigment uh, tend to crack and flake off and they degrade very quickly. Uh, so zinc white is actually not a permanent color. Uh, now some titanium whites, in fact a lot of titanium whites you'll find are on the market, have a little bit of zinc mixed in with them, but as long as it's less than 25%, which it is in those cases, then it's not a problem. It's only when you use the pure zinc white. So I would avoid using zinc white. So you want to choose either titanium white or lead white. And titanium white uh, is the most common. It's you know, pretty inexpensive as far as most paints go. And uh, it's a great white. The only thing with titanium white is it's very strong. It's a very strong tinter. So you won't use as much of it, which is, of course, economical. But it also means that you have to get used to, you know, when you're mixing with it, you, a little bit goes a long way. So it can be very easy to over lighten a color and then you have to start over again with the mixture. Um, so it takes a little getting used to because titanium white is so strong. Um, and uh, like I said, they usually mix a little bit of zinc in with it. And that just keeps the titanium white uh, more workable and keeps it from being too overpowering because pure titanium white is like a killer. It's almost unusable. So that's why they do that. Um, so you'll find that most of them contain a little bit of zinc, but it's fine. Uh, so titanium white's the most common. That's probably the one that everyone's the most familiar with. And it's a great white. And I do use it uh, in some of my paintings, especially for like really where I need a really, really bright highlight. And I just can't push the lead white, that extra like value step that I need. Then I'll use titanium white um, uh, to get those little highlights and bright areas and stuff. But more commonly, I use in my own painting, and it's my favorite white, I use lead white. And my two favorite brands of lead white are the Rublev lead white number one and Blocks lead white. Now, both of these are, are really good um, artists grade or professional grade paints, uh, like the highest premium grade paints that I talked about in my other video. Um, and lead white just has this pearlescent sort of glow to it that titanium white doesn't have. Um, but it is a weaker tinter, so um, again, that's another thing. If you're used to using titanium white and you switch to lead, um, you're gonna find you mix in and it doesn't get, you know, it takes more to get it lighter. Um, and the other downside of lead, of course, is that it's more expensive. Um, you know, lead white like these, these are very expensive paints, so um, that's something that you have to decide if you want to try, you know, if you want to spend the money. Um, now, as far as the lead being toxic, um, it's really not. If you use a little bit of common sense, uh, lead white oil paint is perfectly safe um, because you only, you can only get um, si uh, toxic lead poisoning if you ingest it. Uh, lead cannot be absorbed to the skin. The particles are too large for that. Um, so you would literally have to eat it. Uh, so the only thing you need to do is remember if you have lead white paint on your hands, don't eat or drink in the studio, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. 
and don't put your fingers in your mouth or anything like that but unless you ingest actually ingest it uh, you'll be fine and then when you're done painting for the day you just make sure that you wash your hands really well uh, and I also use um, an artist barrier cream that I put on my hands before I paint uh, and that helps um, keep any pigments like on the surface of your skin so they wash away more easily and stuff uh, so just for a little quick demonstration I'll show you the difference between um, the tinting strength uh, now I have a little bit of permanent alizarin crimson Rembrandt it's this uh, it's actually called permanent matter deep uh, but this is a great color if you need a permanent version of alizarin crimson and the key to doing these little um, mixing uh, tests is to try to get as close to the exact equal amount of paint as you can that way and, and I'll show you how much stronger the titanium white is than the lead so, so let me get my paint piles here so this is the titanium white and then this is the lead white so that's yeah, that's pretty close to the right amount. Pretty close to equal amounts, okay? So if I take this paint and I mix it in with the lead white, you can see that it lightens it, but it still retains the color of that, um, you know, uh, permanent matter pigment. It's actually quinacridone, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but the titanium white, watch what happens. It's going to get a lot brighter. A lot lighter. So I'm sure that you can see the difference there. See, the titanium white is a lot lighter and has a little bit of a chalky look to it. I, I hate to use that word because it sounds negative. Um, but it's just a thicker, opaquer, lighter color. It looks like you mixed white with it. Whereas the lead white, it lightens the color, but it doesn't get that... And, you know, it doesn't show up on camera as well as it is the... Uh, but if I hold this closer to the picture or camera you might be able to see it better you see the difference how this is lighter but it's also looks like it has white mixed in with it and this is lighter uh, but it doesn't have that same kind of chalky white white look opaque look to it uh, and that's why I like the lead white because the lead white has that warmth um, and that glow to it that's just a little you know has that pearlescent look that the titanium white doesn't have um, but they're both great whites uh, and like I said if you're be if you're a beginner and you're just starting out you'll probably want to go with uh, titanium white just because it's less expensive uh, and it's more common it's a little easier to find um, the lead white can not everybody sells it uh, you know you have to get it from the premium grade brands uh, but one one uh, uh, a brand and color I do really want to recommend is the Windsor Newton Artists Color Flake White Hue. Uh, and this this is basically a titanium white, but it's made it's formulated to imitate the lead white. So I mean it won't imitate it perfectly, of course, um, but the the way they mix it um, with a little bit of extenders, I think, or, or like an inert filler. Uh, that doesn't hurt the paint, um, but it tones down the um, the whiteness of it a little bit and makes it more like a lead white. Uh, and this is an artist grade color. And so a lot of times when I want a titanium white, I will actually use this flake white hue uh, because it's a great um, it's a great titanium white to use. But this is actually titanium, so it's not any more expensive than your other titanium whites in the same brands or different brands. So that's actually the titanium white that I would recommend using. Is the uh, If you want to use titanium white, is the Windsor Newton Artist Flake White Hue. Um, and hue is always used in paints when it means it's an imitation color. Um, so like if you were to say, see cadmium red hue, 
that means it's an imitation color that's not really cadmium red it's just imitating cadmium red um, and the reason they do that is is for to keep pigment uh, you know less expensive for people who don't want to spend the money on the genuine pigments um, and also in some cases for uh, not in the lead in, in the case of the lead but in some cases um, certain pigments are highly toxic and they're not used anymore um, so you'll see hue to like imitate those past pigments um, that sometimes artists like to use for posterity uh, but anyway that's still getting a little off the subject so anyway so I would recommend starting out uh, the flake white hue by Winsor Newton uh, if you want to try the lead white um, then either a rublev or uh, lead white number one or the blocks these are both great colors you can get them in the small tubes too uh, if you just want to try it uh, so I hope that that was helpful to you and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time take care Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!